Spherex is a upcoming mission coming out of Vandenberg. Jared, what's going on? Yeah, so Spherex is a mission coming from NASA. It's a new near-infrared space telescope. It's going to be an all-sky survey looking in over a hundred different wavelengths of near-infrared, and there are three major things that it's looking for. One is finding more information on something called inflation, which is our early universe when it suddenly got really big, really fast in a really short amount of time. The next is that it is going to measure the overall glow, like the overall light output of galaxies near us. And then also it's going to study the building blocks of life and the distribution of them in our own Milky Way galaxy. So it's looking for stuff in carbon dioxide, but in, but locally and how that is distributed on a very small scale or basically on a scale over the, over the size of the Milky Way galaxy as opposed to looking at galaxy clusters very far away. Uh, So three really cool things that it's going to be doing. And of course, Jamie, you've always got a big question whenever we talk anything astronomy. What do you always like to say to me? Why should I care? Why does this matter? So of course, anytime astronomy is brought up, people always say, why does it matter? And I guess it's understandable for the oldest science in human history, uh, one of the most influential to be asked, why does it matter? So, you know, why why does the sun rising in the sky every day uh, matter to anyone? And you know what? I agree. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so this, this matters because studying things like inflation helps us overall study the physics of the universe. We live in the universe, right? We have to obey the laws of physics in the universe. You could disobey them. I don't think anyone's successfully done that yet. Usually it's because the universe physics police show up and doesn't end well for anybody, uh, but you can study what's going on locally around us by looking at the universe as a whole or even looking further back. And that can have implications for the design of technology that we're working on, for our understanding of the applications of things that we may be working on right now, even things that we've learned in the past. So it is one of those things where it does feel very esoteric. It does feel very like, What's the point of this? Where, where exactly am I ever going to use this? We, we just never know in these kinds of studies and things as to where the practical applications of it are going to end up with it. So if you want to do something advanced, you need to take that step forward in order to find it, right? So that's where missions like this come in very, very handy. What, what excites you most about the SphereX launch? Or Sphere, I'm sorry, not the launch, but the SphereX mission itself. Um, You know, it's just trying to figure out this very early part of our universe. You know, there's so much, um, so much, well, I always like to say there's so much of so little that we know about everything because we really genuinely don't know much about the universe. We're very, we're very confident that we're very confident in what we know, but then what we know is not a lot. Um, So anytime we get to go to a very important time in our understanding uh, of the universe, such as inflation, that moment when the universe just was like, you know, just came very quickly, very small space to very big space, much, much faster than we expected it to. Um, That getting into the bleeding edge stuff like that and really trying to get down to the fundamentals of what it is. That's the kind of stuff that excites me. Um, And then also this look for the building blocks of life as well, like, like water and carbon dioxide and doing that on a galactic scale, as opposed to a, a stellar scale. So looking at it across the entire Milky Way and not just uh, local stars or local clouds of gas. uh, That's really exciting to me too, because We've always wondered, you know, life, is there life out there? That's a really big question. Um, But we've never really looked for the ingredients in in a macro scale as opposed to a focus scale. Uh, So this first attempt to really take it all in, in terms of hunting for the ingredients for life, instead of a narrow beam focus, we've now got the whole sky to look at several times over. I'm, I honestly, I'm almost more excited for that than I am for the, the fundamental inflation question that is trying to be answered here. 